going in with really heavy creams after doing and he just many products. Me. I have been absolutely loving the Rovectin Clean Water Cream. It absolutely not. Do melatonin in skincare, and I specifically like this one because it's uh -uh, very. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Oh my god, hi guys! Oh, no, wait, should I say aloha? Am I right? Oh my god, look at me speaking Spanish. I'm kidding. But you guys, I'm super excited because today we're going to be reacting to one of the Bay 3, the trinity of skincare, Hiram's skincare routine. Now, I have to say, I personally do not know him. However, he has recently followed me on my Instagram. You know, I just had to brag. I just had to flex here a little bit. I'm sorry. But so anyways, I honestly don't know what to expect because he never speaks about his skincare routine on his channel. But anyways, my idea of his routine is something quite simplistic, something, of course, CeraVe and Fragrance 3, but I have no idea. So without further ado, let's get into reacting, shall we? <sighs> okay, I am not a pretty sight when I wash my face. I look like a fish gasping for air. Or gasping for water. They don't gasp for air, they're underwater. Gasping for water. <laughs> well, actually, fishes breathe air too, so they're gasping for air. Actually, if I just have to I'm so out. excited to be able to show you my skincare routine because I am usually used to reacting to skincare That's routines. What I said. I'm not used to showing other people my skincare routine, and especially because it's switching so often, I feel like there's no sense of normalcy. But now I'm excited to reveal it to you guys because so many of you have been asking, and yeah, this is just going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Also, so I hope I. that you can appreciate that I'm wearing a robe because it's low-key 85 degrees and I'm actually pretty hot. But you know what? I wanted to stick with wearing a robe because it's a go to bed with me. I don't get this chance every day. <laughs> um, you are also joined with me honor. in my room, not my bathroom, because my bathroom is the size of a shoebox. And I figured that you probably don't want to be seeing up my nostrils my entire skincare routine. So we're here instead. So I may have to run in and out to watch. See, this is why I love Hiram. Just because he's so humble, even though he's just so successful. He did not let fame get into his head, not once one bit. He has 3 million subscribers on YouTube, 5 million followers on TikTok. He is huge, yet he's so cutesy. He's a mammoth, of course, and he just likes to do stuff with, you know, his blonde hair and his lashes. He's huge, but she's so beautiful. She's a mammoth, of course, and she has blonde hair. And, you know, she does really cute stuff with her hair. Oh my god, I, it's turning into a meme already. You know what, guys? Let's keep watching. So, I may have to run in and out to wash my face. <laughs> I'm going to be using in total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products with one skincare tool. So nine products all together. Oh, okay. So yeah, as I said, it's a very simplistic, minimalistic, no effort routine. Of, of course, according to my crazy standards, because if you're not aware, if this is the first video that you see of me, I actually have a 14 step skincare routine, which includes tape and moisturizing gloves. So are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? Of course I have you're kind of a warped perspective, but you know, we like that. Tyron. I'm really excited to go through them because these are some new goodies that I found that I haven't shared with many people. So first thing I do is I use a cleansing balm. I'm specifically using the Then I Met You Living Cleansing Balm. I like this one because, well, I like cleansing balms in general because they're a great way of just dissolving the sunscreen and excess oil and dirt buildup that has accumulated throughout the day off of your skin. Okay, so I love that he underlined sunscreen because a lot of people actually think that you'll have to use a double cleansing method only when wearing makeup. But you guys, if you're wearing sunscreen, sunscreen, you can literally feel it when you're applying it. It's so greasy, it's so thick, and so truly you need an oil balm to melt that sunscreen. Just a normal foaming cleanser will not take that off. Um, cleansing oils are nice, but sometimes they can be a little bit messy, which is why I like cleansing balms, but typically I don't go for Oh my god, yeah, literally same. So first of all, that balm, I love it as well. And I totally agree, cleansing oils, they're just so messy. And mind you, I love some good old mess. But not when it comes to washing my face, okay? I like it in bed, with relationships, but not, not, not when cleansing, absolutely not. Don't go for a lot of cleansing balms because they have an ingredient called polyethylene, which is plastic. And I kind of don't want to be putting plastic on my face and having it go down the drain. And this one is poly- Okay, so here she is bringing facts to the table already one minute in. You guys, so polyethylene, yes, is a plastic. Also, if you look at the ingredient list, most of the time there's also going to be PEG10 or PEG20. That's another derivative of polyethylene. And to be honest, I kind of agree they are bad. You would want 
want to avoid them just like you would want to avoid fragrance but it's just so hard to avoid them especially in moisturizers literally basically all moisturizers contain PEG so it's very hard on top of that I can't really be here preaching on my high horse to not use plastic because after all we all know that I inject all sorts of nasty chemicals and toxic waste in my face in the forms of Botox and fillers it would be very ironic of me but you know hey I'm saving the turtles you know send all the plastic waste that you have my way I will be recycling it <laughs> okay let's move on ethylene free which is why I really like it so I usually just take a little bit there's some skincare ASMR <laughs> okay, little side note that has nothing to do with this. If you want great skincare ASMR, my friend Alexa or better Glopedia on TikTok, on Instagram, and also she has a YouTube channel. We'll put it right here. Honestly, she does amazing skincare ASMR. If you don't know her already, which honestly, I'd be surprised if you don't, go ahead and follow her, sis. Let's keep watching. This stuff is like a mango smoothie on the skin. I love applying it because it applies so smoothly and it's formulated with a lot of rich hydrating oils that are really great for nourishing the skin, which I think is awesome because the cleansing system can usually be a little bit stripping to the skin. And a lot of people don't realize that cleansing can be the most damaging part of the skincare routine if we're not careful. And I really like that this one is formulated with so many oils to just really soften and nourish my skin. It does have fragrance and anyone who watches my channel knows that I do not like fragrance, but I'm okay with it in a wash off treatment. So in my wash off treatments is when I get to splurge a little bit because it's not gonna be on my face very long. It's gonna be on there for like a maximum of 30 seconds before I rinse it off, so I'm not really gonna see any sensitivities or risks associated with fragrance. Period. Period. He literally said it perfectly. I totally agree with his point of view. Fragrance and cleansers is fine because you wash them off. In moisturizers and serums, arguably, it's best if you avoid them, but there are honestly two schools of thought. Some people think that fragrance in the long term can be sensitizing and therefore very bad for the skin. Other people think that fragrance for some skin types, like for example, oily skin types, which are stronger, they can handle a lot more and are more resilient, that fragrance is totally fine for them. Honestly, I kind of stand more towards don't use fragrance ever since like in a million years ever just because why would you what I personally look for in a product is not the fragrance or the experience it's the results and one other thing I want to point out is do not spend a lot of money on your cleansers just because once again they're only sitting on your face for 30 seconds all that they have to do is just cleanse your face and remove the dirt excess sebum whatever or hydrate whatever you needed to do so don't go ahead and spend 70 coins on the cleanser there's no point save your money for the serums and make sure to get on my under eye area so I don't forget there. I'm oh, just so gently looking into the skin everywhere. I always used to think cleansing oils and cleansing balms were for people who wore makeup every day but I actually think they should be used by everyone uh, because sunscreen is a tricky little thing to get off your skin. You hear that? Especially with the amount Rape of sunscreen I wear which is hint a lot. <laughs> a lot every single day. I'm like anal about making sure I avoid the sun as much as possible. The cleansing balm is definitely smart for me. And then after I make sure I've gotten every part of my I'm sorry, I, it's just whenever someone uses the words anal, it, it just comes, I'm sorry, why would you use that word? And then after I make sure I've gotten every part of my skin, I just rinse it off with water and then immediately go in with my cleanser, which I just do all in one swoop. My favorite cleanser, the one that I have to use all the time, otherwise my you skin to the people freaks out, it. is the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach <laughs> Cleanser. This one, I don't know why my skin gets so upset every time I discontinue using this for my routine. I'll try to experiment with new cleansers and my skin's like, what the heck, bro? Why did you do that? But, so this one is a pretty integral part of my routine. I also really like it because I have combination to more oily skin and being that it is summer right now in Hawaii and it's very humid. Okay, so let me stop him right now. I I personally love that cleanser because it actually contains a lot of vegetables. It's basically just a smoothie of vegetables, but specifically kale, which actually is rich in antioxidants. And as we all know, antioxidants are amazing for protecting our skin from breakdown of collagen free radicals. But on top of that, it is actually is quite moisturizing, but at the same time, it cleanses very well. It's, I really recommend. Now in Hawaii, and it's very humid, of course. I tend to be really, really oily. So I need a cleanser that's going to deeply cleanse my skin, get everything out of my pores to make sure that uh, they're not clogged, they're not gonna accumulate dead skin cells and dirt over time, and this one does a great job of doing that. But my skin doesn't feel overly stripped afterwards, which is tricky to find because some cleansers I find work so well that afterwards my skin is like <laughs> gasping for water. It's like the Sahara Desert. Again, so I'm gonna rinse off and start applying this. 
So usually I take about a full pump and I just gently massage it into my skin. Last time I did this on video, um, my eyes ended up burning so badly because I'm not used to having my eyes open while cleansing my skin and my eyes are very, very, very sensitive. So same. If you watch my product reviews, you would know that it's basically in every single video that I'm like, oh my god, my eyes are burning. And I just start making sounds of all different sorts because yeah, like my eyes are very sensitive as well. So... I'm gonna be very careful, maybe close my eyes for this. I found that sometimes this cleanser can be a little bit too harsh during the winter time because during the winter my, ten my skin tends to dry out a lot more, especially in the cheek area, it gets really, really dry. And anytime I travel to the mainland, whoo, my skin gets so, so, so dry. I actually used to struggle with eczema a lot. Thankfully I don't anymore, being in a more humid environment, but yeah, this cleanser really only works for when it's particularly humid and my skin is being extra oily. Okay, once I- Okay, I don't know when to jump in and when to stop him because he's always like delivering points and I'm like, oh, can I interrupt just ma'am, excuse me, sorry, I just want to say my point. But what he's saying is very right, you guys. You don't have to stick to one specific cleanser, one specific moisturizer, one specific serum the whole entire year because as he said, it depends on the weather. Like in the winter, my skin is a little bit more drier. In the summer, my skin is a little bit more oilier. When I'm stressed out, my skin just <laughs> dries up but it also goes through breakouts. So even though I have oily skin in the foundation, Dachon and use a hydrating cleanser in the winter. I do that. It's just amazing. Honestly, just listen to your skin. Do not follow what we say. I mean, yeah, it's basically just instructions, but don't strictly just follow what we say. And also, do not pay attention to what the product says on the bottle because it all depends on your skin. Okay, once I feel that my skin is clean enough, I go over to the bathroom. I'm still not opening my eyes, and this is gonna be a struggle trying to walk to the sink <laughs> to wash my face off, but you know, I'm gonna do my best. Wish me luck. Wow, I made it over to the bathroom with my eyes closed and I did not spill on my shirt. Cha cha! I don't always win that battle, but today I did, I guess. Woo! Also, if you notice that my skin is a little bit red, I have reactive skin. I don't have sensitive skin. My skin can actually handle a lot of products, ingredients, testing, etc., etc., but it is reactive. If the wind blows, my skin's like, pfft, inflammation instantly. <laughs> Next, I go in with a new step that I haven't been using for very long. Okay, so we actually have the same skin type. I did not know this, but basically, I have reactive skin too. And before getting into skincare, I actually thought that I had a sensitive skin, but then I later on learned that usually oily skin is never paired with sensitive skin. Oily skin can be very resilient, can handle a lot, so it's never usually sensitive. Just watch, I'm gonna show you basically, this is, watch, I'm just gonna gently slap it like that. It wasn't that hard, okay? And just watch the redness come up. Give it a little bit of time. <laughs> step that I haven't been using for very long. It's the Instreet Green Tea Fresh Toner. Now normally I'm not a big toner person because I don't really feel that they're necessary to a skincare routine, but this product, the first ingredient is green tea extract. The first ingredient. And it's like super affordable and normally products with that high of a concentration of green tea, heck even less of a concentration of green tea are super super expensive. So I was pleasantly surprised to find this. And I also don't use a cotton pad. I just Okay, so I love green tea as an ingredient. Not only is it soothing and anti-inflammatory to the skin but and reduces redness, but on top of that, it also is rich in antioxidants. It's actually one of the most powerful antioxidants known that is actually is epigallic atachingallate. Book me now! Book me now! And so truly amazing for fighting free radical damage. We live. Put it in my palms and pat it into my skin. You know, it's funny, my nighttime routine was not always this um, complete. I used to be extremely bad at doing a nighttime routine, but once I figured out to put like my nighttime skincare right next to my bed and have a micellar water there to just like do my entire skincare routine while laying down, I slowly started getting into a nighttime skincare routine until, you know, now, which I'm like fully addicted. But for anyone out there who is struggling to keep up with a consistent nighttime routine, I'm always recommending that because it definitely helped my skin. I also really like using the ingredient green tea because it's great for soothing inflammation and redness. It also may have some anti-aging benefits. It's just overall a really good skin healing agent that I really like to use. So after that step, I make sure my skin is completely dry before I go in with the next one. And that's important because the next product I use is from Verst. It's the Press Restart Gentle Retinol. Love Verst. Retinol is one of my favorite ingredients oh. for just repairing so much damage within the skin. It's so well researched. There's so many benefits to it. And I think it's a must, especially considering like how much sun exposure I get here and just the stressors and 
the fact that I do age so quickly, retinol is a must step in my skincare routine. For a few months, I went off of retinol and I've been slowly- I had no idea that Hiram actually used retinols in the route to we live. Personally, that burst retinol, I quite like that because if you have sensitive skin or if you're just getting into retinols and you do want to avoid a lot of redness, sensitivity, flakiness that comes with starting to get in on a retinol, then that is amazing because it actually is encapsulated and therefore it's a controlled release of that retinol. So on top of that, he mentioned that he started getting into retinol quite young age. And honestly, I don't know why so many people recommend getting onto retinols after the age of 25. I do not agree at all. First of all, you can get on retinol to treat acne. So if you're struggling with acne, you can get on adapalene. That's what dermatologists usually recommend. But also, retinol is amazing for anti-aging, like he said, to fight wrinkles. And honestly, even though officially the collagen production levels do start to decrease at 25, I personally always think that prevention is better than treating. Therefore, I recommend you get on a retinol for anti-aging at around age 18. There is honestly no drawbacks of getting on a retinol so young, so why not? Once I went off of retinol, and I've been slowly like making my way back into it, and this one's a more gentle formula, so it's better and more ideal to make sure that like my skin doesn't, you know, freak out when I start to use it. And I've been using it for a couple weeks, and so far I've been really enjoying the experience. It's funny though, so many people are like, oh my gosh, you can't use retinol, you're too young to use retinol, et cetera, et cetera. And I think what a lot of people don't realize is that the reason I started my skincare YouTube channel is because of aging that I was seeing in my skin. I had wrinkles all over my face, deep set one on my forehead, underneath my eyes. And before that, I never really thought anything of skincare. I thought it was just something like older ladies used because they wanted to feel fancy. <laughs> but as soon as I started using skincare and I started incorporating exfoliants into my skincare routine and retinol, I quickly realized that it was actually effective because the wrinkles in my face were going away. And now, thankfully, I've managed to, you know, keep them at bay for some time. We'll see how long that lasts. I'm very expressed. Okay, so honestly, I totally Totally agree, skincare is amazing for preventing and fighting signs of aging. However, it is only the tip of the iceberg, you guys. There is so much more that goes into anti-aging because I kind of think of skincare as 50% of the game. You have to also play the other 50% to truly win against my oldest enemy, which is time. So of course, there's also going to be your lifestyle. So don't tan too much, don't get into the sun. Also the diet and what you eat is extremely important. Eat a lot of vegetables and a lot of fruits because those are rich of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties. Therefore, they're actually going to reduce processes like glycation, which is basically the breakdown of collagen, and therefore also EGEs, which is the end product of glycation, and also collagenase MMPs, which is the enzyme that breaks down the collagen. I'm sorry, I'm getting very technical, but basically, you want to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables to prevent that, and also, you want to stay away from dairy. You want to stay away from refined carbohydrates like white pasta and white bread. You you want to stay away from alcohol, sugars, because all these actually increase the inflammation, increase the glycation, and therefore make you age a lot faster. Of course, then there is also the aspect of plastic surgery like ultrasound, radio frequencies, Botox, fillers, facelifts, and the whole entire injectable series. So truly, anti-aging is just a whole entire thing, and I personally love it so much, you can tell that I'm very informed and very obsessed. So actually, if you want a starting point and you want to know what foods are good for your skin and anti-aging and what foods are bad, they actually have a whole entire playlist dedicated to that where I react to celebrities diets and basically tell you if what they're eating is good for their skin or bad for their skin so go ahead and watch that but anyways let's keep watching hey for some time we'll see how long that lasts I'm very expressive and I'm white so I age like a raisin <laughs> So I just Honestly, Hiram, I don't know if you got anything done, but if you want to get any sort of injectables, any sort of crazy illegal plastic surgery procedures in uh, Mexico or Turkey, girl, I'm the one you gotta contact. We'll go together and get our Brazilian butt lifts. You should really try and forget about me, honey. And you, me. I don't think about you at all. I'm kind of kidding, but at the same time, I'm not. If you need a pal to go through your plastic surgeries, call me up. I put two pumps of that and applied it into my skin. One of the reasons I like that one is because retinol typically usually comes in very thick, heavy creams. And I want to be able to utilize retinol, but also be able to apply other products on top of it afterwards. This one is a must in my skincare routine, the Great Barrier Relief from Crave Beauty. When I first found this product- Love Crave Beauty. Didn't, I, was, I was in such a dark place. I don't know where I was before this. This like saved my skin, <laughs> which sounds dramatic, but hello. 
that's me. <laughs> this one I specifically love. You guys, you know what? Speaking of having had something done, I think Hiram got Botox on his forehead, just there, but on his forehead for sure. The frontalis muscle right here, because it is oddly smooth and oddly shiny. And one of the telltale signs to know if someone got Botox is if the forehead is extremely smooth and shiny. Also, I don't see it moving that much. I only see the lateral part of the brows moving, and usually that is another tail sign that you got the forehead freeze so props to you I'm gonna get my Botox done in a few months because what it focuses on is helping to repair the skin's moisture barrier and I think what we don't realize is that we tend to just pummel I'm not sure I'm sorry I'm just keep on focusing on the Botox I'm not sure so don't quote me but at the same time quote me because I feel like it just got mm -mm. let's keep watching I'm sorry to just pummel our skin with so many treatments at least I do so that sometimes I forget that you know the health of the skin is just as important as seeing results and those two things are not interchangeable. Your skin can be, you know, seeing really good results in terms of like exfoliation and retinol, but not be adequately healthy. And this is a great product for just making sure that my moisture barrier is as strong as possible. And when I started using this product, I immediately noticed that the redness in my face was gone. My skin was more hydrated. I didn't need to, you know, uh, worry about as much excessive oiliness throughout the day because it's formulated with niacinamide. It has tamanu oil. So I started noticing like a brightness and getting rid of dark spots and sunspots on my face. Just so many different benefits that I started noticing from this product. So after I apply that product, I go in with a- Okay, so um, what I wanted to say is that I totally agree. Getting your skin barrier intact, healthy, and strong is totally important because that is actually going to prevent transepidermal water loss, which is basically the loss of moisture in your skin. Also, a healthy skin barrier means stronger, it works better, it's less red. So ceramides is an ingredient you want to pay attention if you really want to rebuild and protect that skin barrier and make it strong. So Crave Beauty is an option, but also, of course, the CeraVe King that we have right here. The CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion CeraVe is famous for containing niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and three essential ceramides, period. Let's keep watching. So after I apply that product, I go in with a final moisturizer because this alone, it- Oh my God, does he go in with the moisturizing topping technique? Could it be that we're actually matching? And he's doing the same technique in my routine that you guys know I'm the moisturizer queen. I love to pile on moisturizer after moisturizer. And so what I do is put two moisturizers, one on top of the other. Oh my God, let's keep watching. It can be used as a moisturizer, but I would say it doesn't have enough inclusive agents to really form no. a protective seal to prevent me we... from losing water through my skin over night. If you know that process, it's called transepidermal water loss. I'm constantly talking about it. Um, but I just want to always make sure that I have a final seal to yes. prevent any of that water loss. But I don't like going in with really heavy creams after doing and he just many products, me. which is why I have been absolutely loving the Rovectin Clean Water Cream. It absolutely not. It, I thought he had me, but he lost me as soon as he said he does not like thick, greasy moisturizers because that is what I like. When it comes to men and moisturizers, I like thickness. That is what I want. She was, the, you know, the whore of charm school. A slatacious whore. <laughs> I get a lot of backlash for that online, but honestly, I don't care. I will keep doing me. It comes with little stickers that you can put on the bottle, so I customize my own. It's cute. This one I love because it's formulated with a crazy high concentration of lotus, which is great for, you know, reducing sensitivity and irritation in the face and also Never for, heard of you know, brand, potentially being anti-aging and antioxidant properties. But I specifically love this one because it's a very lightweight water cream, so it absorbs into the skin so quickly and does not feel heavy. I've actually been really liking using this Absolutely one during the not. day because I can ensure that it will mm -hmm, not make mm -hmm, my skin. Mm -hmm. No, 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 Hiram. What I like is to feel my moisturizers. If I don't feel them and they're very lightweight and watery, I just feel the need to pile on something heavier. I'm just, no. It will not make my skin look really oily or greasy, something that's really important to me, particularly during the summer. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's summer right now. You can tell. Look at the grease. Look at the glow. That is just me. What I love is to basically look like a disco ball at all times blind people while I'm walking through the streets. Uh, we'll pass it in the house and then we'll negotiate as we go forward. Uh, but what this is, is what this country needs. Always make sure I apply on the neck. 
Funny enough, dragging upwards on my neck actually creates a lot of redness and irritation, so I usually just pat it into my neck. And what I also do with my moisturizer is I always make sure to pat it into my skin afterwards because I, I don't know why, maybe this is true, maybe it's not true, but I feel like my products absorb so much better once I pat it into my skin. And I don't know if that's because it's actually being absorbed by the skin more or if it's just being absorbed by my fingers more. I have no idea. Let me know down below because I would love to know the you know scientific explanation behind that. Definitely As some of you may notice, and most of these products are actually Korean and that's because I love Korean yeah, I just feel like it encapsulates so much of just the modern innovative perspective oh, yes. that Korean skincare technology can bring and just incredible ingredients and formulas just everything that I love about skincare in non-irritating formulas. One thing that's- Yes, queen, you better let the girls be aware. You better tell the girls about Korean skincare. You guys, if you watch my channel, you know that I literally always refer to Korean skincare as alien skincare because it just comes from another planet. They just seem to be knowing stuff that we don't know. And the Asians, you just have to let us Caucasians and us Western world get in on the secret of aging because I know that y'all discovered the fountain of youth and y'all keep it to yourself and that is why Vera Wang looks like this at 70 years old. Please someone tell me how is this humanly possible? It's very prevalent on my channel in terms of messaging is going towards skincare that's not going to irritate your skin but contribute to the health of your skin and that's something that I definitely try to focus on within my own skincare routine. You know sometimes I wish I could just be like a model when I apply my skincare routine like But no, it's like World War III over here on my face. I've gotten better. I've gotten a lot better. <laughs> I used to be like man handling my face when I applied my skincare routine. Now I'm much more gentle, but that doesn't mean it's beautiful. So I apologize to anyone who's watching. <laughs> All right, once I pop. Okay, but no, on a real note, can we just say, let's please appreciate the lower third structure of Hiram's face because the chin is very prominent, very there and very cut. The jawline is very sculpted and very upwards. In beauty, we actually call that vectoring of the jaw and the face. So actually in beauty and plastic surgery, we call that the triangle of youth. So we want vectoring in the face, upwards swoop. And when we start to age, we it turns more into a pyramid therefore it starts to sag. He got the triangle of youth right there. Maybe I would just inject a little bit of, just a little bit of tad filler on the cheeks because they are looking a little bit flat, especially on the frontal part and on the sideways, the lateral part of the cheek. Just a little bit of Botox on the chin, the mentalis to freeze it because it's a little bit overactive, but the rest, so you got it there. Of course, he also has definitely the Botox on the forehead. I, I, I know, I know. But basically what I was trying to say is you better start calling this man who deems me because he is cutting these girls in half with that jawline, period. That into my skin, I go in with lips next because my lips tend to get really dry okay. and I think overnight is a great time for me to just make sure I'm really moisturizing my lips so I don't have to apply a lip. You know, they also look quite natural. I don't think he got them filled and to be honest, I envy him because if I had that natural fullness, uh, that would have spared me a lot of money. Lip balm as much throughout the day. The one that I've been really loving is the Milk Makeup Melatonin Lip Mask. I think there's a lot of like underrated I'll come through to melatonin in skincare and I specifically like this one because it's uh -uh, very uh -uh. it's very hydrating and it's going to make sure that I do not wake up with dry lips the only thing I don't like about this one is that it is formulated. What you can also use if you don't want to spend extra money on a lip mask, you can use a face moisturizer because moisturizers are designed to moisturize the skin. And guess what? What is the skin on your lips? It's it's just skin. How would you describe your personal style? Very personal. A face moisturizer is gonna do the job amazingly. I always do it and I hooked some of my subscribers. Maya actually, she told me she does that. But I mean, I still have a lot of lip masks and I still love them. One thing that I wanna point out is he did not go in with an eye cream and props to you because I don't like eye creams either. I feel like they're totally a scam, so let's keep watching. It's formulated with lavender oil. So, you know, to me that I would consider that fragrance, but with lip products, it's so hard to find fragrance-free formulas that are actually really effective at, you know, keeping the skin moist overnight and this one works really well. Okay. And then for the final step, I go in with a skincare tool that I actually have not talked about on my channel before, so I'm so excited to provide an exclusive look into my skincare routine. It's actually a cooling globe, and it would be cooling globes, plural, if I hadn't have broken the other one and leaked out everywhere and got onto my carpet and stained it. So love that. <laughs> but you know, I just have one for now, but it's okay, it's the same tool, it just takes, you know, 
double the time, but it's still so nice. I love using this both at nighttime or in the morning, specifically in the morning on the under eye area because it really de-puffs the face. But overall, I just like it because typically with a lot of these like cooling tools that I've used in the past, sometimes they create such a heavy layer of like condensation on the outside that it almost feels like you're just kind of smothering water all over your face. And it feels like it's almost breaking up the skincare formula, but this one, I never noticed that. It really glides across the skin, helps to, you know, further push your skincare products into your skin without like leaving traces of water across the surface of your skin. And I always just leave this in the fridge overnight. And I always try to move it. He definitely had Botox. Oh Lord. Again. A fucking game. And I always try to move it upwards in a lifting motion because there's really no reason to be dragging downwards like your skin gravity is a b-i-c-t-h no sir not today Ugh, normally when i have two i do it so pretty i'm not like mr like t-rex claws trying to push it all over my face normally it's very like visually aesthetic but alas the second one broke but thankfully these ones are actually really affordable i got this from sephora and i think they're like 20 bucks so not bad we stand affordability. We do, we truly really do on this very channel. And just push upwards. And this is just such a nice step just to like, ah, calm down, you know, focus on just like self care time. I think sometimes even with me, I tend to be so rushed in my life that I, you know, really rush through my skincare routine. And using this is kind of a moment for me to just reflect and, you know, think about the self care part of skincare and have like a little bit of a meditative moment. I know I'm definitely guilty of looking at skincare from a utility standpoint where I'm like, I have this problem. How do I fix it? Let me use Very that much as fast thing. as possible. And that's not usually the best way to go about using skincare. I think self-care and indulgence and meditation is just as important for a skincare routine as is utility and repairing a problem within the skin. And I think tapping into both of those is where you can really find a passion for skincare. That's definitely what turned it from just an interest into a passion for me. And also just being able to feel so good about yourself once you start seeing good results within your skin, I think is so powerful. And that's one thing on my channel that I think brings me the most joy, true, true joy is seeing how people's skin has improved per recommendation of other creators or me um, and seeing just the confidence that comes I can totally with, agree on this. Their skin being glowy, healthy, happy. Oh, it's just, it's so cool to see how much Preach. of a positive difference it's made in people's lives. And it's what drives me to keep doing what I do. Actually, before getting into cosmetics, I struggled with a severe eating disorder. And it was really difficult to find, well, I had never had a moment where I looked at myself in the mirror and thought to myself, wow, I'm beautiful, you know? And it wasn't until I started using cosmetics that it really unlocked oh my God, same. that opportunity for me to see the beauty within myself. And it wasn't about the products. It wasn't about anything, you know, material. It was just a pathway to be able to open my eyes to my beauty, you know, that I possess, inner and outer. And that's one thing I just love about skincare is that I think sometimes it can really be the unnecessary key to unlocking the door of confidence for a lot of people. It's not the confidence itself. It opens up an opportunity for people to be able to see themselves in a better light. And what price can you put on that? You know, once I started recognizing my own beauty, that's when, you know, the recovery became a lot easier, uh, a lot more enjoyable to manage as I slowly got better. And I think everyone deserves to see themselves in that same light. I don't think anyone should be excluded from seeing the beauty within themselves. Wow, we're getting emotional. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Preach sis, I love this beat. See, this is why we love Hiram. Honestly, I totally agree with what he said. Unfortunately, I have struggled with the same issues. I'm not out of them yet. Um, I don't see myself as pretty as blah, 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 blah. But this is still, this is not me time. This is Hiram time. So let's focus on his problems. I'm sorry. Why am I always making stuff about myself? I'm so self-involved and narcissistic. Are you beautiful? Yes, I am beautiful. And you called me a, you said I was, you thought I was beautiful. And I'm always beautiful. And I was almost going to say, she, she's thinking I'm not beautiful. And I am always beautiful. Wow, we're getting emotional. <laughs> no, not really. Well, I was. <laughs> See, this is why I love this part of the skincare routine. I can just oh, have this reflective, meditative moment. And you guys just got to be with me for that. So 
Double bonus. I'm ruining my mascara makeup. All right. And after we finish that, I am finished with my skincare routine. And this is where I pass out, I knock out, I wake up glowy, happy, and hydrated, which is the goal, always. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this was my entire skincare routine. I hope each of you really enjoyed watching. Uh, I know I definitely had fun, as I usually don't get to, you know, show my own skincare routine. Thank you to all of the people who are watching this, and I can't wait to see if any of you react to my skincare routine and roast me, because I will be looking forward to every shady comment. <laughs> but thank you so much, everyone, and I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Oh my god, imagine if Hiram watched my reaction video. I would totally gag. Hiram, if you're watching, please send me a DM. I would love to connect with you. I don't need any cheap clothes or any cheap makeup, honey. But anyways, you guys, let's get into my final thoughts and ultimately give Hiram a score. Hiram, honey, no. Mm -mm. This is not going to work between us if you're just so disrespectful and rude. Because first of all, not only did you come up here and ruin my makeup, but second of all, you have the audacity of coming in with a great skincare routine where I had basically nothing. No, actually, scratch the basically. I had nothing bad to say. What do I provide my subscribers and my viewers with? That's so upsetting. Like, I need some juicy content, because y'all know that I'm the shady queen. I come up here to roast, and that is what I do. I roast an entire rotisserie chicken every time I make a reaction video. Child, anyway, so now would be the time of the video where I would give my constructive criticism and which in which the protagonist of the video could actually improve their routine. However, once again, I got no materials to say. So, um, let's just move on swiftly to giving my score, which, of course, it is going to be... I have to give a hundred percent to Miss Hiram. Unfortunately, I do. Like that is just what we do. And. Uh, uh... <laughs> but anyways guys, if you are new here, maybe you're from the Hiram fandom, then what you can do is actually subscribe and turn the bell icon so you don't miss any of my uploads because this, let me tell you, here we are also very fragrance free. We're also all about anti-aging and acne because I embody them both and I would love to have a part of the random family. And also, if you may want to connect on a deeper level, then what you can do is actually follow me on my Instagram and on my TikTok, both of my random, and so you can literally follow me 24-7 in every social media app that you have. And truly, I know that that is your dream, and so you're welcome. And don't hesitate to DM me if you have any skincare issues. I would love to help you out. And lastly, to my randoms, I have now also opened my Patreon, which is basically a subscription service website. And by doing that, you would basically support me into making YouTube my full-time job, which is basically my dream, because I am going to university, but I really do not want to do that. What I love is spreading skincare knowledge, provide you with content, and honestly, just, just live my best life here on YouTube. So if you want to support me even more, then you can definitely join. On top of that, I do a lot of live streams. I also give you dedicated videos that you will only see on Patreon, as well as I can give you specific advice on your skincare routine. We can literally do it together, as well as just, you know, just kicking and having fun because I will be a more tight-knit family. But anyways, to around this, you're still watching, you know what time of the video is now. It's time for the Italian word of the video. Oh, as this video was all about Hiram, which is one of the holy trinities of skincare, which as I already told you, it's going to be Hiram, James Welsh, and Susan Yara, then of course the Italian word of the video is going to be Dio, which is God in English, which is totally fitting because Hiram is one of the skincare gods. Hey, excuse me, what do you think you're doing? Uh-uh, uh-uh, you're not gonna cut out this video. What you need to do right now is watch whatever of these two videos right here, because even though this video is ending, yes, what you do not want to do is watch the videos recommended by YouTube, unless it's one of Hiram's or Susan's or James or uh, what, any other of the skincare YouTubers, then go ahead, and yes. But if they're not skincare, then don't. You need to click one of them too. They're just gonna be as informative, informational, whatever this video was for you. But while you're doing that, remember to be random and always be random. And now let's pray to the skincare gods, Hiram's. Amen. But you, you need to click. Or you will not have great skin and you will actually break out overnight. You'll, so you have to click.